self-corded pillow with a zipper. So the first thing we have to do is cut a front and a back. What I like to do since it's a 20 inch pillow I like to measure up just about 20 and 3 quarters inches up because I use feather inserts and I like my pillows to look full so I don't want my pillow form to be so loose. Um, so you have an 18 inch pillow, you could cut it at 18 and a half um, or 18 and three quarters. I always find when I cut it an inch bigger than the pillow, my pillow could look a little flat and I like it to look a little bit full. So that's what I'm going to do. I have it marked here at 20 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to make my line and I'm going to go down here at 20 and 3 quarters. And I know I'm a little far away, but that's what I'm doing. I'm marking that 20 and 3 quarters. The straight edge of the table, straight edge of this side of the table, selvage of the fabric. I gotta bring it a little bit closer to me. Can't get it all lined up as it was. And then I mark here and I have it lined up here. And I said this before, I always get these geometric fabrics that are never 100% lined up exactly as they should be. And I have never found that it matters. It's not that ginormous of a deal. If you were, if you look on my blog, I have some where I've done black and white stripes. that are rather wide, they're probably three inches or so. And that is when I tend to make sure that each time I'm starting with something that's pretty squared. Okay, so we have our 20 and three quarter inches up. So we're gonna cut that out. Twenty and three quarter inches going in this direction. And let's cut off this selvage. This is a pretty selvage, and I, I 
may have said this before. But you can use this as a trim on something. So I you can save it. But that's for another video. So we're going to mark in 20 and 3 quarters. Twenty and three quarters. I think. Save your scraps. You may have enough if you make a few pillows to use these pieces as the back and do an envelope style. So the next thing I like to do is run it through the serger. Okay, we've got all of the sides surged. Now let's go over to the sewing machine and we will add the piping. Okay, now you could certainly pin this welt cord to the outsides if you would like to, but there really is no, that's not true. If you want to, go right ahead. I just don't do that anymore. Um, and I'll cut off the excess at the ends. So I start, you can start anywhere on any side that you like. If you have a pattern um, and you know that the zipper is going to be on the bottom, I would not necessarily start my cording on the bottom because there tends to be more bulk in the seam when joining these two ends where they meet up and I don't like to have that in the same position as my zipper. So we're going to, and I start in a little bit, about an inch and a half from 
the end of the cording so that at the end I can fiddle with it and manipulate the two pieces together. So needle down, keeping the raw edges of the cording with the raw edge of the pillow side, we will stitch it in place. So now we need to get our zipper prepared. Okay, I have cut a zipper to the dimensions of the pillow. Now we need to put on the zipper pull. What I do is split the zipper, drop the zipper, Slide the pull tab on one side. Then slide the second side on. Let me see if I can see if you can see that. Once the zipper is on. I like to secure the ends so that I don't have any little unhappy accidents. do that and I have also found that it sews through it better with the zipper teeth facing the feed dogs and sometimes I have to give it a little little bit of help
So we have that end finished and this end finished. And now this zipper pull won't slide off. Now we're going to pick a side for the zipper. And as I said earlier, I like to choose a side that doesn't have any other things going on. This side does not. This side has a seam right here in the piping. This side has the join of the piping and is kind of bulky. And this one has a join where it's bulky. So luckily we have one whole side with nothing and that's where I'm going to put the zipper so that I have close contact. Now, right sides down, raw edges together. We can put some pins in it to see how we have it lined up. Pin it at that end. Pin it at the far end and see that it looks nice. I don't want to pull anything out of whack. So I'm going to put some pins in it. Pins just keep me going where I need to go and I don't matter, it does not matter to me the extra steps. I'm enjoying this and I mean if you aren't enjoying the sewing don't be doing it. But it is fun. So the extra pins are fine for me. Pin to the top, pin to the bottom, meeting in the corners. Let me get rid of this little extra threads. And keeping my zipper foot on the machine. my needle down going forward. Let's go forward a couple and let's go backwards a couple. And now I can take that first pin out. Okay, zipper is in. It works. So now we're going to give it a bit of a press.
Okay, so what I was talking about is this is your this is your pillow, this is your zipper, this is your cording. You could just put them right sides together. So around the three sides, good to go. Or you could give it a little bit of a flap, just taking a tiny bit of fabric and folding it over, bringing it, I think, right to here. And pinning it to the zipper tape underneath that you've already stitched on. Okay, so now we have our zipper in, and we are going to close up the pillow. Easy peasy. We tidy up. We're going to start with this corner, and I will pin in this corner. And I will put a pin in the center. We'll go around to the next corner, matching up that one, this one, pin, and pinning in the center. Matching up these corners at the zipper. Pinning there, and pinning in the center again. So I have a pin at every corner and one in the center of every side. And I'm going to start at this top zipper. And I put them pins. I like to put them. I like to sew with the piping on the bottom. So I put my pins in backwards. So I'll fix that. That's not that many to take out. Now, let me see if I can't get you really close as to how I do this zipper.
trim up these little dog ear things from the piping, but I really don't push. I'm not going to trim these corners right now. That kind of helps to fill the corners from the pillows if the pillow doesn't. Now, obviously, you could give it a press, but I have not trimmed the inside. I went to all that trouble to serge it, and if I trim it, then it is no longer serge. Let me give this a quick, quick press. That's it. Let me show you what it looks like with a pillow in it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm stuffing it with a 20 inch feather pillow that already has a cover on it to give you an idea of how it will be. Chop it. You have a zipper on the bottom. Nice. Nice and full. <laughs> guys I hope this tutorial um, was helpful in some way on making a pillow with a zipper and some cording around it there are a number of ways to do that you don't necessarily have to have the corners as square as I had them I can show you different ways where you can sort of make a more pleasing curve um, you can do an envelope style in the back where you don't have to put a zipper but you know let me know if there's something else that you would like to see and please subscribe thanks see you